Alright, hey, what's going on? It's Marley here, and welcome to uh, a video that I wanted to put together after recording my first impressions of Stranded. So, I played through this game. Uh, I recorded like 15 minutes, maybe 20 minutes, whatever it was, uh, of me playing the game uh, and running through what I thought to be essentially the opening or the first sort of 20 minutes of the game. Uh, uh, yeah, the first sort of 20 minutes of the game. I thought that this was like the opening to the story. I didn't want to spoil anything because clearly it was a very story driven game. Um, so I so I ran through the game and I, I like did a bit of commentary, like uh, spoke about what I felt about that first part of the game, and that had actually been at that point in time the only part of the game that I had played. I played like I will usually play in preparation for a video, 20 minutes of the game. I will then you know or, or maybe sometimes longer in other games, but for a point and click, I feel like I get most of the gist within a, a, a relatively small time period. I did that. I played it. I came back to the game, uh, recorded that first 20 minutes again. Uh, and then after it, I was like, oh, I may as well just go on and finish it, right? Like, I'd actually quite like to play some of this game. It was uh, late. I was just like, oh, why not? I'll finish it. Um, and so I played the next five minutes of the game and found that I had finished it five minutes after the first 20. I then played through the game again to see if it was like a, the game had crashed or something or something bugged out. Nope. Sure enough, I finished the game in like 10 minutes playing through it. Um, I literally like just went, walked through the um the entirety of the game in in 10 minutes like it's it's literally like a sequence of rooms yes the first time you play through it, it takes you a little bit longer because you're sort of back and forth a bit more traveling through the environment and um it's like it's it's hard for me to justify whether it's worth it for me i don't i don't personally think that that game is worth it for me i was kindly gifted uh, a copy in order to do a first impressions of the game uh, but I wanted to create this video instead because I just don't... My Like, after looking at my first impressions video, it's like, that video has no actual fucking relevance and will just, like, sell the game in a way that it shouldn't really be sold. You should buy this game if you like the art style and you like audio-visual experiences. Like, that's kind of what it is. It's almost like a slightly interactive movie uh, as opposed to being an actual game. Like, all you really do is do a small amount of kind of puzzle solving in the fact that it's like, oh, I realize this is how this works, this is how this works. Um, it's kind of just figuring out how one or two mechanics work and then doing it with something in a sequenced order. Like, that's that's the game. And it's like five or six pounds, I think, on Steam. I actually, uh, I haven't checked the actual price. I believe it's something like that, which is something around $10. I think it's sold at the $10 mark. And it's like, for $10 or £10, I could pick up like a game like a Wizard's Lizard, which I have been falling in love with recently which is a huge amount of replayable content you can pick up games like nuclear throne you know this is a huge amount of replayable content you can pick up you know on sale you can go and like get like shooter games or except like all these great big experiences that are really long experience you, you can get you know skyrim is on sale it's like 10 pounds 10 pounds for fucking the 100 hours you could put into skyrim versus 10 pounds for the 10 to 20 minutes of really beautiful visuals and really great audio and a really cool and interesting experience and actually what promised a cool story like the story in this game is actually kind of interesting like at the ending i was like oh yeah damn this is gonna be really cool i like the way this is starting that's exactly it. i was like i like the way this is starting it was a really cool start to a game i was expecting after the ending to that into the actual whole game but i was expecting what to be the ending to the intro to actually be like the kick into where the story begins but um and that's, I, don't know, I feel kind of cheated like I would I don't feel cheated because I didn't have to pay for it but if I had paid for that game without knowing that that was what I was going to be getting I would have uh, I would have felt a bit cheated I think in my opinion um so yeah that's uh that's stranded it's a lot of money for not a lot of game I don't even know if it could be advertised as a game like I, no actually I, that's a lie it, it is a game but I don't think uh, you know, even if that was the gameplay was the same as it is in Stranded, like the point and click sort of adventure, if it was that, but it was like an hour long and there was a bit more story after it, I would fight. It would be fine. But it's like, it feels like the beginning to a story rather than anything else. And it, I, I don't. Know, I was kind of like just just baffled at the end of it when it was like, that's it. That's that's actually it. That's that's the whole thing. I don't know. It is beautiful. The pixel art is wonderful. Although there are like a lot of scenes where it's just like. That is just like a copy of the other, you know, landscape with a few small changes and stuff. It's It does look good there. Like, it looks beautiful. The music is fantastic. The atmosphere that the game gives you, like, the way everything moves and breathes in the environment, it is really immersive and great. 
Like I was really enjoying myself up until it finished. And then that's just it, it just finishes. And then you do it again. It's like, would you like to restart? Yeah, I'll do it again. And you do it again, you're like, fuck, is that it? Huh, well, <laughs> guess that was a lot of money for not a lot of, uh, not a lot of game. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed uh, this video. Hopefully this gave you a bit of insight into what Stranded actually is. I imagine if you wanted to see the game, you could probably just go look up a, a whole game walkthrough on YouTube being, you know, one video. Uh, I'm not going to be posting the ending to the game here. This is just uh, some clips from, uh, this is actually the footage from my first look or like cut up bits of the game because um, I don't want to spoil the story or anything for you because that would actually, you know, completely ruin buying the game for you. I think this is a game where like watching it is almost the same as buying it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.